Good morning everyone. Welcome to week six day four. So today is an eight mile run. I'm just going to walk this start bit while I record this video. Uh, I'm going out to Billy's Creek. I should say I'm here at Billy's Creek. And I'm going to go check out the Kilmantis track and Blue Gum Hill track. It's been a long time since I've been up there and I really want that to be incorporated in my training especially in the long runs I'd like to get back to doing the seven gates challenge uh, maybe even 14 gates we'll see how we go um, but yeah this part of the course is probably the most worrying and if all the weeds and everything are still like knee or waist tight and I can't see snakes and this is the area where I see most of them. I think with the cooler temperatures now, they're not going to be out as much. I don't know. I'm no snake expert, but I'm going to see what I can do today. Uh, yeah, going to show some awesome views, some awesome footage, and hopefully come out feeling good. Uh, really needed the rest day yesterday so probably not the best to be coming out here with the massive hills but I need the training I want some hills I want some elevation I want to just get up there all right thanks guys I'm gonna start running now and I might start recording when I get to the start of Clementus all right thanks guys bye Okay, legs are still a little bit sore. I'm still going with my planned route, even though I uh, have changed it a fair few times while uh, running out here. So here's Clementus. Go see how far up it I can run. Probably not very far. <clears throat> yeah. That's gonna be me. Still got seven miles to go. Oh. It's gonna be hard. Alright, see you soon guys. GoPro stop recording. So I've made it to the top of Clementus. It's just up from this path here. This part down here is Lodge Track. It does continue going. That's the way I'm going to proceed. So last time I was here, all of this was really green and prickly and thorny and could hardly see where I was stepping like this part of the main path is okay uh, still have to be really cautious though um, I'm back it <laughs> uh, There's been no rustling, so I haven't heard any snakes, I haven't seen any snakes. <sighs> Just a very hard climb. <sighs> Doing what I can. So I think I can get people running this part of the course again. Just being careful. Obviously, when I say run, I mean... Oh, dear. Just 
seen a few of them. I don't know if the GoPro would have seen that or not. <sighs> Wish I could just sprint up a hill. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll bring people back here for this part of the course. Uh, what I'll because this part here, lodge track, it's an up and back. It goes to one of my gates. And there's also a very good viewpoint for Churchill. I'll show you in the video when I get to it. Maybe on the way back down from the gate. Uh, yeah, so hopefully if Blue Gum Hill truck is all good, I can start doing the uh, seven gates run or however many. Um, yeah. Yep, I've gone blank too long. See you in the next part of the video, guys. Oh, it's so nice to be getting up in the hills. So beautiful, but I'm going up still. <laughs> the viewpoint is over that way for Churchill. See you soon, guys. Oh, finally, a little bit of a jog on this uphill. This is the uh, highest point of elevation for the Mall National Park that I've found. And I'm wondering if you guys can guess what's coming up. You should be able to guess if I'm doing a video here. Down a little bit. Not too far now. <laughs> snake! Don't worry, there's no snake. I'm keeping an eye out for them. And here we have it. Right here. Gates of Tora. It's been way too long since I've done a gate video, a gate run, a gate photo, anything to do with a gate. Like the other day. <laughs> All right. So that's made it to the top of Clementus and Lodge Track. The elevation point here is about 400 meters or so. Uh, I can hear myself echo down there, um, which is weird. Anyway, I get to go back downhill now and go to the viewpoint. So the part that's up here because I added a little bit more distance. You can cheat and just, uh, well, it's not much of a cheat. You've got a bit of up to do it. Whereas the other one, it kind of goes down and goes up, goes around, goes up some more, gets to here and it goes up. Whereas the other one is like, just straight up. It's further back than I thought. But I'll get to it anyway. Just so I've got some running footage. It's kind of how you get the extra distance to the gate runs. Not that you need them. Oh, it's so much clearer up here. Oh, watch that butterfly. So here it is. If you follow the signs for lodge track, you come up here. You come up here. Whereas if you go the other way, you come up straight up this way. But I come up that way, so I'm going down this way now to the viewpoint. I'll see you when I get there, guys. All right. 
I'm not going to stay here too long because it's still quite uh, overgrown. I need to show you guys this view. I'll keep an eye out for snakeies. Looks like people have come here. It's fairly pat down. There it is. The view for Churchill. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's so nice up here. I love it. Sun's bright. Alright, I might give someone a quick call so I can show them the view. Bye. Blue gum hill truck, no go zone. It sucks. I love that part. I didn't even get to start the climb for it, and it's like I just don't like going through that shit. And it was looking worse the further I was going. I don't think anyone uses this track, which annoys me. Normally, like, there's a good spot, like from here to the start of the actual climb, which is really clear, but if that part's bad, then the rest is going to be pretty average. This is the other way to it. And normally this is absolutely flooding with water. Like usually about here I would be knee height, roughly. Yeah, it's like that. Ah, <sighs> disappointing. I'm not sure where I'm going to get the extra mileage now. I'll go up to um, the weir and come back. I'll go do, I'll climb to the top of zigzag and see what happens from there. I might even run up to the other part of, or the other side of Blue Gum Hill Track, because you kind of go up and around. And I'll just see what the exit's like. If it's horrible, I'm not going to do it, but if it's okay, I might be able to just climb that part which is the steepest part <laughs> and then just come back down see you guys I was just thinking okay somewhere around here is the entrance to Blue Gum Hill Track and here it is and uh, <sighs> I think it looks better than what it did previously. I'll start to do the climb and see how it goes. Usually this part here is like the worst with all the stinny nettles and everything.
what a climb. I remember when I used to do that two or three times a week. I was thinking about on the way up, I'm going to go down the other side that I previously cancelled. And I'm just going to be taking it really carefully through the bottom part. Maybe it's not as severe as I think it is. I just need to do it. Probably just need someone like me to squash shit down like I did back there a little bit anyway I'm very quickly running out of time and battery All right, I'll save the video for the end of the run hey thanks guys This is fucking dangerous. I should not have come this way. Quick update. On to mile six. And I really just feel like going back to the car. I find when I have setbacks, my mental state just isn't there. It's like if I can't do the planned course that I wanted to do, then it's like Fuck it, I really don't want to keep going. Um, going back down the other side of Blue Gum, the way I initially cancelled, felt way too dangerous. Uh, I didn't feel safe. I think I'm going to rule it out. I know I've done it now, but it's just not sitting right with me. I was going to skip this climb. This is zigzag now and go straight back to the car but I know I'll be at least a mile behind what I'm supposed to be doing today, roughly. I might be a little bit over doing this but yeah, alright, so you want to get to the top for the next gate. <sighs> Top of zigzag very soon. <laughs> I just have to do one thing to be at the top. <sighs> Gates of Tora. <sighs> so now back down and finish. See if I can do a continuous jog 
all the way to the end. We've got about a bit over one mile to go. Thanks guys. Here it is, the end of my run. Better get this last bit in the gates of Torah before my video runs out, or before this runs out of battery. Uh, thanks for watching that last bit after the eighth mile was hard. I'm struggling to just keep going, feeling tired. Um, yeah. Gonna go home, have a shower, and have a drink, and all that stuff. Alright, thanks guys. Not sure what tomorrow is. Um, just take it as it comes. <laughs> thanks guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.